The first reading is from an old Chinese proverb. It is better to light a candle than to complain about the darkness. Welcome to our collective worship for Advent. Today we meet in the Church of St Mary Walton on the Hill, Liverpool. St Mary's is the mother church of Diocese of Liverpool and the place where Christians have worshipped for over a thousand years. During times of darkness and anxiety, people have gathered in this place. Today we stand at the font where new Christians are welcomed into the church through baptism. This font is special as it dates from Norman times and is around a thousand years old. In the dark times of World War II during the Blitz of 1941, the Luftwaffe bombed St Mary's Church. This caused the bells to crash down from the tower and the font was broken into pieces. After the war, the local artist and sculptor E. Carter Preston carefully reassembled the font and also created the new stained glass windows we see today. In this baptistry, light flows through the colourful stained glass windows with lovely images of children. Jesus can be seen blessing children of all races and there's a lovely window of St Nicholas, the patron saint of children. We begin our worship in darkness. Are you afraid of the dark? Some people are. Can you imagine being left on your own in the dark? It is better to light a candle than complain about the darkness. Over 2,000 years ago, people were also afraid of darkness. When all was dark in human life and behaviour, God sent us a light to lighten our darkness. One light, and gradually that one light lit up the whole world. Let us listen to a reading about light. It comes from the Gospel of St John in the New Testament. God sent a messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. John came to tell the people so that all should hear the message and believe. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. John himself was not the light, he came to tell about the light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never Jesus was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all people. The four weeks before Christmas are called Advent is the time of preparation, preparing for Christmas and looking forward to the birth of Jesus, but also preparing ourselves to welcome Jesus into our world today. At Christmas, we remember the events of over 2,000 years ago. The time when God became human and lived among his people and Jesus, the light of the world, was born. Advent is the season when Christians look forward to the birth of Jesus. The light of the world is coming. The time when God became human and lived among his people this year's Advent is different. As many of you may be finding preparation difficult during a time of COVID-19 lockdown, it is difficult to buy gifts whilst the shops are closed. Some families face uncertainty and money may be tight. But Advent is not just about expensive presents. It's about preparing ourselves, looking closely at ourselves, looking at the type of person we are. It is a time to stop and reflect, a time to think about the good sides of our personality and character, are you caring and considerate, friendly, honest, someone who listens, someone who is reliable, someone you can trust to keep a secret? And also think about the bad things about our personality. You may be a poor friend, someone who doesn't always tell the truth, someone who bullies, dishonest, or perhaps someone who doesn't show love and respect to family and the people around you. By looking at our heart, we can become better people and be the best versions of ourselves. We can all show kindness, love and respect to people we meet in our lives. We can become the people of light and hope in our community. We can be the change we want to see. A traditional part of our Advent celebrations is lighting the candles on our Advent wreath. 
we use Advent wreaths to help us focus on the promises that Jesus gave us through his life and teaching in the Bible. They are circular, which represents God's infinite love, and they're usually made of evergreen leaves, which represents the hope of eternal life brought by the birth of Jesus Christ. Within the Advent wreath, there are five candles that are lit in turn over the four weeks of the Advent season, and the fifth lit at midnight on Christmas Eve. The first candle will be lit on Sunday, the 29th of November, Advent Sunday. It reminds us of the hope that we have for the future. It reminds us all, God's people, that although we may not physically be together at this time, we need to stay emotionally close to each other through phone calls, text messages, cards, and spiritually close to God through our prayers and worship. Whilst we cannot sing in school or in church, we can still sing our favourite carols at the tops of our voices at home. The first candle will be joined by the second on Sunday the 6th of December and we will think of peace. Many of us have feelings of anxiety as our normal ways of living have been turned upside down. This candle reminds us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. The first two candles will be joined by a third on Sunday the 13th December and we think of love. We hear in the Bible that God is love. This candle reminds us of love of our families, our friends and our neighbours. God loves each one of us, whoever we are and wherever we are. The three candles will be joined by a fourth on Sunday the 20th of December and we think of joy. This is often linked with Mary, the mother of Jesus. The birth of a child into a family brings great joy, especially after nine months of pregnancy, of watching and waiting. Being thankful is often the start of the feelings of joy that can bubble up from deep within us, even in the most difficult of times. The fifth and final candle is lit on Christmas Day, the Christ candle. The Christ candle is the symbol of Jesus, the light of the world. It reminds us that Jesus was born 2,000 years ago, bringing light into the world and continues to do so here and now in 2020. In a moment of silence, let us think about how we're going to prepare for Christmas. We remember that Jesus was not born into influence or power, nor was he born into riches and luxury. Jesus was born poor and powerless. As we prepare to celebrate Christmas, let us turn to our God, our loving Father. Lord, we pray for those who are hungry. May they be fed with food and love. Lord, we pray for those who are alone. May they feel welcomed and that they belong. Lord, we pray for those that are poor and naked. May they be clothed with love and shown that we care. Loving Father, this Advent, as we prepare to celebrate Christmas, may we take time to welcome you into our everyday lives. Father God, we just lift to you all the young people and all the adults who collect, gather and learn. We pray for them at this difficult time when they work in their bubbles, keep them safe, keep them well, and may they know your love as they walk through life together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, We've walked in darkness too long and we wait for the light of your love to shine on us once more, guiding, warming and protecting us. 
Lord, we wait for you. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and all those you love and remain with you always. It is such a blessing to our community here at Walton on the Hill as we gather to worship at St Mary's digitally and hopefully as we come out of lockdown too we'll be able to gather again this Christmas. But we've been so blessed to have the children come and lead us in this assembly about hope and light. The final quote is a quote from Desmond Tutu. Good is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than hate. Light is stronger than darkness. Life is stronger than death. Victory is ours through him who loves us. Amen.